Hello, Jacob here. So I'm in Berlin, standing outside the Reichstag. That's where um, Hitler and his dickhead bunch of buddies used to hang around and plan wars. And, you know, sadly Berlin is quite famous for wars, um, which is kind of weird because my experience of the place so far is it's really chilled out. So I suppose it makes sense that one of those wars was actually Cold War. Um, but what I don't get about that is, surely if it was the Cold War, it should have been fought in the Ice Age with soldiers stomping around on woomy mammoths and stuff with ice lasers. But it wasn't. It was fought like 50 years ago with some other countries. But anyway, I'll carry on giving you some more historical tips when I find them out. Jacob out. Hello, Jacob here. So I'm at Czech Quint Charlie. I'm not really sure who Charlie is, but this is the Berlin Wall. And what I don't get is how could a tiny piece of wall like that divide up two superpowers from fighting? Um, it must have been made of some super mad technology bricks, because both teams had nukes. Not being funny, but if I was around back then, I probably would have just walked around it. It kind of makes a lot more sense, really. Jacob out. Hello, Jacob here. So I'm standing outside the Battenberg Gate and it's pretty impressive. But something that I really don't understand is why is such a big monument for a cake? There's so many other really good achievements that Germany have had, like Schnitzel or Bradwurst or even BMW, that they could build huge monuments for that. You know, I get that they've got some pride, but there's a lot of other achievements. Come on, Jacob out. Jacob here. So on a more serious note, I was walking around Berlin and I've seen some monuments, some of the atrocities that were performed under National Socialism and the horrible, despicable ideologies they represent. And all it made me think was they should not be known as the Nazi Party anymore. People should change their name to Nasty Party because those guys were a bunch of fucking dickheads. Jacob out. Hello, uh, Jacob here. As you can see, I'm at Tempelhof Airport. You know, I think originally it used to be an ancient Sumerian temple, and then Hitler came along, knocked it down, and built a gigantic airport right in the middle of the city here. Another one of its many atrocities. But it's pretty mad. As you can see, there's cyclists, rollerbladers, and mothers walking around with prams right on the runway. I mean, you would never see anything like that in Heathrow. And not being funny, in my opinion, it's kind of stupid. Imagine trying to land a Boeing 737 when you've got to dodge out of the way of a lady with her pram. It's bloody stupid, in my opinion. I know Berlin is more bohemian and laid back, but some things are just unanimously stupid and just dumb. But anyway, I shouldn't judge. I'm meant to be open-minded. Jacob out. Jacob here. So I'm in a very boho-y kind of area in Berlin and you know I was just trying to walk across the street but people were just sitting there drinking beers. I know I've got a beer myself but you know have some respect and at least stand up while you're drinking it and pretend like you're meant to be doing something wrong like the British way of doing it. Here they just drink beers on the street like it's totally normal. You know and they've got sketch pads as well. If you're gonna sketch do your sketching at home on your desk like everyone else, come on. Anyway, I'm going to carry on trying to work my way through this and then I'll catch up with you guys later on. Jacob out. Jacob here. So I'm at a Soviet memorial in Germany and it must be a very, very important place here because I have not seen a store for Bratwurst for nearly half a kilometre. And, you know, the Soviets helped our blighty soldiers defeat the Nazis, so a lot of respect for them guys, you know. I don't know what they did afterwards, but that's not important, you know. It's all about defeating those nasty Nazis. Jacob out.